This is insanity right now. After we were cleared from the sky, guy, we may now have to play him twice this year. Year, and he's no longer with the Jaguars. That's right. I'm talking about defensive end Yannick. Nako, Nakoku, Ku. I don't know how to say his last name right. Yannick Nakoku. That's who I'm calling. That's who I'm calling. <sighs> right now, the guy is. Right now, the Vikings are trading. Are are planning on trading him to the Ravens. To the Ravens, one of our opponent, one of our opponents for ne- opponents this season. It's bad enough we're going up against the Ravens again. Again, week 11. But now we have to... But now their defense may be more more powerful with this guy. This Titans fan is... Was, is, very, is very shocked, to say the least. But, but according to procedures, he's got to go through the COVID test first. COVID test first. If he if he tests positive, then then the trade is null and void. If not, then if not, then he's officially a Baltimore Raven. I know no one deserves this kind of kind of fate, but it would tick me off if we have to go up against this guy. But it would tick me off if Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry had have to play against this guy again especially after especially especially after that game at Minnesota we were finally in the clear with this guy and now here we go and here comes Yannick onto another team we have to face next this year still I pray to God he doesn't test positive for COVID Anyways, here's the trade detail. The Ravens will be giving up their 2021 third round draft pick. And and their 2022 conditional fifth round draft pick. That's if the draft that's if the trade goes through. If Yannick goes to the Ravens, the Vikings will get the Ravens third round draft pick for this for next for 2021 and a conditional fifth round draft pick for 2022. Ravens already have Vikings second round draft pick for next year, so they're hoping to get some back, something back out of it. And now let's move on to Yannick Yannick's former first former team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. They have 11 players from their practice squad test positive for COVID-19. I guess they should be lucky that it's not the main cast, but still, but still, this is, this is ridiculous. I feel sorry for the Jaguars. And, fi- and then there's the Philadelphia Eagles. They finally put Zach Ertz on the injured reserve list. After what happened? So yeah, Zach Ertz is now officially on the injured reserve list because he's going to be sitting out this month. Man, what a mess. What a mess the Eagles are in. The Eagles will be playing tonight against the Giants. And they will be without two of their star players. One of them has already entered the injured reserve list. So, bye-bye, Zach Ertz, and feel better. Anyways, see you when I bring even more breaking news.